My name is Lauren from ACA, and today we're going to talk about Quebec English. English speakers across Canada have developed a variety of English that is unique to them. In Vancouver, there are words that come from their indigenous languages, like skookum to mean strong. In the Maritimes, you can find the accent is heavily influenced by their Scottish heritage. And in Winnipeg, the speakers have their own vocabulary that describes their tradition and culture. For example, bumper shine or garbage mitts. While the majority of the Quebec population speaks French, there is this pocket of English speakers with the majority of the Anglophones living in Montreal. Quebec English has lived beside French for many years. And you can see the French influence on loan words like dépanneur or the French pronunciation of metro stations like Pina. In this video, we're going to talk about the vocabulary and the structure that makes Quebec English what it is. Keep in mind that language is constantly changing and there might be differences depending on the region or the individuals. Loan words are one of the biggest distinctions between Quebec English and the rest of Canada. But even though there are these equivalents in English, it is going to be much more common to use the French words instead. Let's take a look at some of the more common examples. In Quebec, we take an auto route instead of an expressway or highway to go from one city to another. Take auto route 20 to get downtown. Chalet instead of cottage or cabin. I spent the weekend at our chalet in saint Adele. The Dep instead of corner, variety, or convenience store from Depreneur. Can you go to the Dep to get some milk? Coordinates instead of contact information. I need your coordinates for the Zoom invite. Animator instead of group leader. Sue will be the lead animator for the conference. Gallery instead of balcony. My new apartment comes with a gallery. The guichet instead of the bank machine, even if the ATMs are labeled ATM. I need to stop at the guichet beforehand. Metro is used outside of Canada as in the Washington Metro. I take the Metro instead of driving. Poutine, French fries with gravy and cheese curds. But you already knew that. I always get poutine at Chez Claudette. Primary and secondary, one, two, and three, etc. In contrast to Canadian grade one, two, etc. My son is in primary two. Terrasse instead of patio. The French pronunciation and spelling for terrasse is common in casual and semi formal settings like journalism. I always get a seat on a terrasse in the summer. One of the prominent influences that French has had on English is with toponyms. It is very common for English speakers to use the French names for official organizations, for example, the Régie de Logement or the Régie. I have an appointment with the Régie on Monday. Collège, for example, Collège de Maisonneuve. I got accepted to Collège de Maisonneuve. Metro stations will retain their French pronunciation, so you're going to get Metro Jean Talon instead of Metro Jean Talon. I live near Jean Talon Metro, or I live near Metro Jean Talon. The SAQ. I got a nice wine from the SAQ. Geographical locations will typically retain the French pronunciation. I go skating at Montréal. So far, we've looked at the words by themselves, but French has influence over the English structure as well. Me, I work in Laval, instead of I work in Laval. The vocal stress on I comes from French, moi, je travaille à Laval. Do you want to wash the dishes? Instead of will or would you wash the dishes? Depending on the audience, do you want to wash the dishes can come off a little bit passive aggressive, so do be careful. <music> Pronunciation.
radiation throughout Quebec can vary from region to region and from person to person. There are some typical rules of thumb though. There are government regulations that say that Quebec has one official language. Therefore, street names, metro stations, and public places cannot be translated and must remain in French. In Rue Saint Laurent, Rue is usually dropped, but Saint Laurent is used instead of Saint Lawrence. Public places like parks will retain the name, but the structure is changed. For example, Parc La Fontaine is La Fontaine Park. However, geographical locations that have significance across Canada can be translated, so it's possible to say Fleuve Saint Laurent or the St. Lawrence River. I hope this video has helped you better understand Quebec English. Remember that language can vary from area to area and from person to person. If you like this video, please check out our website lesbonmonts.ca for more videos as well as our podcast and blog. Bye for now.